uh, Thursday morning back in the house. The floor was ordered just so evening. supposed to be here at nine. This morning it's 10 to 10 now. 10 to 10 is not here. So I'm going to just chip away on this wall here. This this used to be, you can see the line on the ground there, it used to be this monster cabinet, the full height of the roof there. There it is. Uh, so there's, there's uh, concrete or plaster built up inside this, which is a different level to this wall here. I'm just taking that off so that when I skim this wall here, I can, it'll all be kind of even, I won't be stepping out. Uh, so I'll do that while I'm waiting for the floor to arrive. Okay, so just as I was saying that, uh, everything arrived. Um, the guys from the Brico in Chambray came and we've got a bag of pure Blanche show for uh, testing down here. I'm going to just do the ends of the joists in this and see how it goes. So a little test mix here of a lime mortar. Uh, I'm just going to try and on the end of these joists now in the pockets to kind of stop them rocking about. So we'll see how it goes. Stones are just wedging in just to get them straight. <laughs> Okay, so got one board down. I'm gonna put some noggins in just because it's a big span, even though they're really chunky um, joists. They're 180 by 80 and by 4.3 meters now. Um, I wanted 190s and they told me they didn't have any. They only had 180s by 80. And when they arrived, there was 10 mil cut off them <laughs> with off cuts. So I put the off cuts back on as packers now to get them back up to 190. So um, the uh, just using the laser now. I just want to make sure the first one is right because if it's wrong, by the time you get over here, 
you'll end up having to cut the board. So just line up the laser on the edge of that board and it looks good all the way along. Uh, this sticks out a little bit from where the old door was. I cut that off. And then we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, all the way over. So I'll put a few screws in that one now, um, just so there's a shift, and then work from that. in completely um, there's a few issues which I kind of knew about this joist here that you've seen in the other video I couldn't quite get up I think it's the door frame stopping it getting up to the correct height I think it's dropped um, so it's slightly low in that corner by the time it gets to here this side is obviously at the right height it's fine but over here um, I haven't screwed it down yet at the end. If I do, there's going to be a slight bend on it. So I may pack it up. If I can't get the joist up high enough, I may put a shim in there uh, just to keep that. Because it's level now. The joist is slightly low. So that would be that corner. Everything else is perfect. They're all. I've only put screws in the corners for the moment. I'll go back over and put, put all the screws in. Um, and it's fairly, fairly good and solid. Uh, I didn't add the noggins because I don't think they're going to do anything with the span that's here. Uh, I can retrofit noggins underneath if I do, but feels good, feels good. Uh, I haven't put this last board in yet, or last two boards in yet, because I want to do this fireplace next uh, when we get enough stone. I have my test bag of mortar there, uh, lime mortar, so I will use that to mix up in the morning, or I'll do it now. Three o'clock in the day. I might mix it up now. Just pack that all up there now. So it's kind of set in the morning. With the, with the temperature here at the moment, I don't think it's going to take days and days to, to actually harden. There's a test lump I did earlier here. Um, it's kind of, that's actually not bad. And there's another bit up there. Yes, okay. <laughs> so that's not going to work there. That seems good there. And I did another test patch over here. Okay. So I'll see how that's like in the morning. That there is the new bit. This all needs to be, needs to be filled in. Um, so yeah, I may have to rethink what we're gonna to use to finish the wall. I really like this rough finish here. I think it's really nice if I could achieve that. It's kind of an Italian, what well, I'd imagine an, an Italian stucco finish would be like. So uh, the gypsum plaster is just not breathable. There's some old markings on the wall from when they were doing probably the joist here or the fireplace or something. Uh, 178 and a half inches. What's that in metric? Anyone? 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 But uh, yeah, no, it's good. Good to be back up to this height again so I can see the mess in the garden. Yeah, so here, um, once the, it's quite damp. So again, once I bring the ground level down outside, uh, that dampness should go away. I'm gonna do, do stone in here, finish this off in stone. And then uh, we're just doing a laminate 
chevron floor in here is the plan the real deal is just too expensive and just blows our budget um, we're also looking at the doors and windows trying to decide what's best i think i might be able to salvage this door the door itself seems to be okay and we have the space here to put in double glazing panels if i can get the edge somewhat sealed you check for drafts and see what's what and then a double glazed panel at the top we could keep that it's such a nice door it's probably a solid wood or a solid wood probably a hard wood <laughs> not a liquid wood and um, be nice to save that as much as possible so this is our floor level here and then after this floor is done got to tackle this floor here in the hallway because it has dropped so uh, it's now it's not a million miles off, but I'm pushing that up with the board I'm moving. So this is uh, this is our finished floor level here. And the problem I had yesterday with the concrete, you can see here, um, the concrete is uh, it's not bad there. It's only about a millimeter off here. That's not bad. And then over here, it's the, the wood is slightly higher, so I may put some leveling compound in here just to get this level here. So they marry up. So it's not as drastic as I thought it was. I thought it was 10 mil off yesterday. So it's not that bad. So I think I'll just mix, do a mix up here now, block that off, and then call it a day. quick test here with the laser the laser the laser level and see how uh, plumb the floor is welcome to the disco and the laser sitting on the edge of that timber now all the way along and the floor is bang on Hang on. 